Hello, welcome to the Cadet Podcast. I'm here joined by my co-host, Beaner, and three cadets. Uh, just uh, introduce yourselves real quick. I'm Cadet Staff Sergeant Bradley. I'm Cadet Staff Sergeant Arndala. I am Cadet Staff Sergeant Reyes. Uh, and if you have noticed, we're in a completely different setting right now. Uh, with we're the actually, new table. Yeah, with the new table. Uh, we're actually in the Axe Bay right now, which is uh, one of the other flights. And um, yeah, so this is their Cadet Creed, or Axe Bay Creed. Not the Cadet Creed. No, of yeah, course, not the Cadet Creed. Creed. It's somewhat that. It is so. Yeah, it is somewhat the Cadet Creed. But but just the Axe. Just for the Axe, yeah. That's why it's called the Axeman Creed. You know yeah, what I mean? you get how those two go together. The Axeman Cadet Creed. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Axeman Cadet Creed, exactly. <laughs> All right. So, um, anyways, yeah. So, uh, is there anything that's been like interesting going on with your guys' bay and anything like that? Well, something unique is that we have a log inside the bay now. It's gonna use like for like disciplinary, I guess. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Something unique is our creed because I don't think any other bay has that, so that's pretty unique. We also have a uh, Axman ethos. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just ethos? just like the honor creed. It's like it's like the smaller version of the Axman creed. Yeah. So you guys say Axman ethos yeah. like whenever you all say it. Yes. Yeah. So you got you guys got a fun size version. So you do yeah. the cadet creed, you do the Axman creed, and then you do the Axman ethos. Yep. How do you guys get anywhere? You got to repeat that everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty cool. We have a we were making a or Waterman. Uh, yeah. He was making a scout creed, but still hasn't been approved. It's like just sitting on his deck or uh, mass on his deck. Don't you whatever. guys already have a scout creed though? Kind of no. like on a piece of paper that was like from like two cycles ago or something. I thought no, that was made by another cadet. But uh, you guys are actually the only people with an approved creed or I guess ethos. Yep. And that's yeah. like actually set up. Mm. Why are all the words like red? Okay. Oh, the the red is like the beginning of each word, pretty much. Yeah, but they're all like out of uh, their their own special. They're like individuals. Yeah. Oh, it shows like the individuals that are in a flight. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I heard that you guys have like a burpee plaque or something. Like if you can do a certain amount of burpees in like a certain amount of time. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's oh, yeah. over there. It's uh oh. seventy five no burpees plaque that's you have to do a hundred in five minutes. Hundred burpees, yeah. I completed that challenge for Texas Brown. You just in really? five minutes. He just hasn't given me the plaque yet. We're what? waiting. I'm gonna get it before graduation. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. I did a ton of burpees yesterday. Not uh, bringing it all myself, but uh, three hundred burpees. I think that's a lot. But yeah, I did a lot. I did a lot of burpees, and all right. yeah, I, I'm feeling it today. We're well, gonna do like twenty per like minute or something. No, 20, no. 20 every ten seconds. Twenty every ten. No, no, no. So what? You have to no. do 10 every 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, that is like it's impossible. Like Eventually, seconds. if you go behind and you keep going into your time that you're supposed to be breaking, you won't get it. Oh, yeah. dang, dude. So you have to just go full straight out. You can't stop? Nope. Or well, you can, but like, it has to be like before you cut your time, before yeah, you, you have your 20 second break. Yeah, you have like oh. a 20 second like break in total. Oh. What? Well, I, I mean... Okay, that, that's intense. That's, that's like more intense than the elite PT. <laughs> yeah. Hundred burpees in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot like our scout spin. Well, Tex and Bradley is the one that uh, made it up, and he did it himself. So he's always like, "If I can do it, you guys can do it." That, that's not. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the Tex Sergeant <laughs> challenge. You're a grown man. <laughs> that does not correlate. Yeah. <laughs> also told him he's like he only completed it twice. Yeah. Oh, dude. He only did it twice, and he's like, "Yeah, guys, you got this." No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, so um, this is—I think this is the first time besides being here over here that we've had someone that's on the CPRB in uh, the podcast. So, if you want to explain what the CPRB is to people watching, you know. so the CPRB pretty much is a board made out of seven cadets, which is five now actually. Uh, we about we help out cadets that are on the wrong path, or we also bring in cadets who are really good, and we acknowledge them and like motivate them to pretty much do better. Um, currently, I'm the ambassador, so I prepare the cadet before going into the board. I'll go to his bay, knock for him, ask for him, and then walk around the tarmac if necessary, and just start talking to him so he gets comfortable, or I can get something out of him so he gets more comfortable when he gets into the board. Uh, and being you're a member, right? Yes, I am. He outranks me, and um, whenever there's a vote deciding on a specific debt or action that needs to take place, uh, the ambassador is the deciding vote. His vote is essentially the only one that matters if he chooses to partake. I um, 
I am just a member, so I just help with the day-to-day stuff and set up everything. I like your orange mm-hmm. robe, and he has a orange, orange robe and, uh, with white stripes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, there's also a scribe and executive, and uh, the scribe tracks the time, right? The, the time, note, the notes, yeah. and all that. The notes, like yeah, who it was, so. what it was about, how we could fix mm-hmm. it, how we could fix so it. Basically, what the squadron guy on does almost every oh, Take right. notes. <laughs> 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 take notes. Yeah, and then the executive just like makes like a bunch of decisions on who he wants to see kind of or like how he wants the room set up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah all right um so yeah uh, all of us are also staff sergeants right yeah. yeah 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 so that's that's kind of unique we all just had some coffee you know i'm getting hyped up for my coffee you know i'm feeling it starting to feel the tingleness in my fingers you know getting ready yeah. for school starting to okay <laughs> staff sergeants get coffee every monday morning because we've achieved such a rank it's usually kind of cold so it tastes like dirty bean water though. <laughs> yeah we don't even have anything that we get like a powder like a powder mix for our um for our coffee that we put in our coffee and we have to stir it with our fingers because there's nothing to actually stir it with it's like the coffee made creamer stuff yeah it's pretty nasty. It's like it's like it's like a soup because the chunks. Are <laughs> it's, <so> like, <laughs> it's like a dirty soup. soup and it's really <laughs> gross. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you two have already been in uh, leadership twice in a row, but yes. like major leadership, right? Like uh, you flight. Rows, yeah. yeah. So you were a flight chief turned to guide on, right? Yeah. I was first an element leader, then I went to flight chief second round, and then got on the row. And you were flight chief twice already, right? Yeah, I was flight chief first round, then second round I was guide on, and then last round again I'm um, flight chief. Well, so that's after someone got second out of yeah, guide so on. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just flip flop, pretty much. That's that's pretty cool. How does it feel to be in like another like leadership position, like like three yeah. rounds of permanent leadership? That's unheard of. I mean, it's pretty cool, honestly. Like since the beginning, I've wanted to be uh, last round flight chief. I just thought it was really cool. And when I got it first time, I'm like, oh, maybe I won't get it my last time. But I think it's really cool that me and him just swapped, and that's something that we actually wanted. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't, like, Cadet Hightower from, like, 16 Tech 2, like, three-round guide on? Swapping guide never... on? Well, yes, because he kept on, everybody else, like, next to him kept on getting fired. Oh. So he just kept on stepping up. Hey, we still got it though. That's fair. <laughs> it was three times. We had a supreme leader or a, a dictator oh, yeah. in supreme our uh, bank. Emperor. Emperor. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. the guide on got, oh, sorry, the flight chief got fired. So the guide on took control of both aspects. So he was wearing flight chief and flight guide on rope, which one takes each role and they're supposed to be partners. And one person wielded supreme power in our bank. <laughs> He's like, address me as Overlord Supreme Leader Rodriguez, or I will not talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, so, uh, one thing that I hear in my bit is, like, something's going on with your foot. I don't know if, like, you're okay talking about it. Yeah. We uh, heard hydrogen. So, I, I, uh, I got, I had a wart on my foot at the beginning of the cycle, and it developed all over my foot. So, now it's hard to walk. I got it wrapped, and I went to the doctors to get nitrogen uh, liquid nitrogen put on it which really hurt and they gotta put it on for like 10 seconds each spot and he went around it like twice so we're gonna go and get that like sometime this weekend but I'm walking around as much as like well as they like to say wobble 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 does it hurt? a little bit I can, I can feel every time I step so <laughs> yeah it doesn't feel great Definitely not good. Absolutely not. It feels like just like a needle is going like this every single time. <laughs> is it supposed to wear off anytime soon or um, is it just going to be like Probably that? Probably another month. Oh. That is unfortunate. Yeah. That is really unfortunate. It's like that dude perfect thing. Like, that's unfortunate. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but um, anyways, so uh, uh, do you have anything you wanted to ask? Um, I do have a couple things. Uh, I heard you were squadron guide on, right? With yes, Will? I was squadron guide on second round with cadet staff sergeant Welch now. Mm-hmm. He's staff sergeant. Yeah, he's he's a staff sergeant. Yes. Uh, mushroom. What top. does that entail? Because we haven't like, we've had squadron mm-hmm. level positions, but we never asked them what that's like. What's it like? Well, so, uh, you're in the bay as basically another cadet, but like squad. Uh, I mean, guide on and flight chief, they're controlling the flight. But like, if they're they're doing more things. They're ones in the back bay, ones controlling the train brakes. You can like if everyone's getting out of hand, you can like 
like try to bring him down a little bit. Don't just overthrow your power because these two are still the main leadership at the time. But if you're like out with this whole squadron and everything, and people are being, as Texas and Bradley likes to say, stupid, uh, you can try to bring him down. But that's more the squadron commander's position. But if he's mm-hmm. like, like doing something, you see someone doing something stupid in the corner, you can just like lightly let them know. Don't overthrow your power. Um, I hold a stick a lot. <laughs> a guide. <laughs> yeah, a guide on. Um, we went through the mud pits once, and I uh, kind of got scared because it's a white flag. And we went you went through, through the, mud. the mud pits with the it, guide it, on. It was, it was near us, and we uh, we came back from doing the mud pits, and I'd grab the flag, and it was just like it was hanging really close to me, and I had mud on me. I was like, oh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Wait, was that when we ended up doing DNC? Yep. And you guys were drenched in mud. And we we looked absolutely awesome. That was really cold. I just kept on thinking how stupid that was. Why would you go for a mud run and you guys were like late? And then you uh, showed up. That was so funny. And we went back in after that. Yep. I saw. I thought somebody was running away because I just saw like rays emerge from the hill covered in mud. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> uh, do you guys all go on that um, the ultimate frisbee thing in the mud? Oh, uh, no, no, I didn't, uh... Any, wait, none no. of you guys did? Mm-hmm. Oh, over there? Yeah, yeah, over yeah, there. yeah. I think I was yeah, on yeah. STC that day. Oh, really? I, I heard it was, like, a three-foot puddle, and, like, someone was always, yeah, no, like, there, there, was a, there was a huge puddle, and, yeah. uh, who, who jumped in it first? I Ray, Ray. Ray. Yeah, yeah. Ray, Ray just belly yeah. flopped yeah, inside, yeah. and then we all yeah, ran and just, ended up dancing in this <laughs> mud puddle. <laughs> in the and the texts are rolling, give him, like, a positive three foot Yeah, and texts aren't rolling, and texts aren't rolling, just, like, hugging, like, yeah, <laughs> like rolled over. It was pretty yeah. funny. It was pretty cool. He told okay. me a story about that. Uh, so he saw this big puddle. He's like, "Could I jump in that?" Takes on and I was like, "Are you gonna jump in that?" He's like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Go ahead." And then Ray just went full out for it, and that's how we got that positive three forty one. Yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> but um, anyways, so I you have the most ribbons I've ever seen. Yeah. That is literally. literally yeah, that's, like, I, have, I don't I don't think there's anyone in the entire squad that has I think he's only I missing mean. two. Yeah he yeah, is really? only missing two. And the, uh four star. The white try and, and the honor, the honor. We actually figured out how to get the white try now. It's like all these things around our bay like that one right over there. It's like um it's like metaphors about your life and everything. Oh why well, so I asked about it and they're like, well ask Mr. Hill, which is one of our teachers and uh I asked him he was like, Oh well, I'm not doing it this year. So I don't think you can even get it this year. Oh. So yeah. So I think the max you can get this year is seven. Mm-hmm. Or just recruit two more people, you'll be the most blinged out guy in the squad. Right? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> we only need to recruit one person. No, you really only. We actually had a cadet Rodriguez yeah. end up recruiting somebody there. We thought he was going to get his bus. Turns out you have to recruit three. Yeah, you do. He didn't know that. He was thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> But um. But anyways, well um. Is there anything you guys wanted to add? Oh, actually, I do. I do have something I wanted to add. The creed. Well, that also. But also. That's related. What's Dude, up? Oh my! Like every five minutes, like flat chief man utilizing the train. Like we is, like. Is there a reason for that? Because we see him every single time. No, we have to like stop all the train calls because he's currently utilizing. Like, his stomach <laughs> was like hurting like way before home pass. Like yeah, before even home pass. Yeah. Home pass. Some with his insides. Like it's getting better, I guess. Cause like. He would like just like ditch school, I guess. Yeah, like, all day in the latrine. Like all, he'd show up to one class, and that's what we were looking. Or and if he'd show up, he'd be like, "I gotta utilize him." <laughs> leave, like literally. But yeah, instead like, of every five minutes, it's every ten I'm, minutes. It's not around better. there, yeah. It's a little better. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So to close this off, I just wanted to. I'm gonna have you guys do something real quick. So. Uh, the Axeman Creed. The, the Axeman Creed. I will stand tall and proud in the face of adversity. I will overcome all obstacles in my way. I will always have my brother's back ready to catch them if they fall. I am an axman through and through. I will stay true to myself and others. I am an axman setting the standard with honor, courage, respect, and integrity. Never quitting, forever pushing forward on the path to excellence. There is no such thing as a former axman. Axman is a way of life. To live as an axman is a privilege. I will treat it as such. Axe and set the standard!